Hello guys, this will be an interesting video for myself because I will kind of apologize for my own mistake or not ideal advice that I gave in a previous video. So a few days ago I've posted the result of the challenge on API controller review and I was doing the review of changing the code but I've made an interesting decision which is not ideal and it was pointed by a few of you in the comments. And I do appreciate that you are correcting my mistakes because I'm not an ideal person, I'm not a genius, so I sometimes don't think about some details that are important. And while the person, the original person asked for making this code, this API code better, I went a bit too far and changed the structure of the code or in fact the structure of the response of the API. And this is pretty dangerous to do. So a few of you pointed that in the comments. So Alex, for example, said that I wouldn't be hired with such a code because change API output is a pretty bad thing to do. And also, Bob Black in the comment just bluntly asked, why did you change the code? Why did you change the test? It's not really allowed to do. And I agree. So for example, I changed this one. So response JSON status 500 wasn't really HTTP status 500 consumed by the API client, but it was a variable inside of the response itself. And I disagreed with that and I've changed that to this one, abort if 500, means that it would send the response of 500 internal server error with the same kind of the same result, but with HTTP status code 500 and not the status variable itself. So from the API client point of view, this is gone. And also HTTP status code has changed. And this is dangerous because if you have already written API client, whether it's like JavaScript with Vue.js or mobile application, if you change something in the API, then it may completely break the front end. So general advice is that you can change whatever in your API except for something that client expects, which is the response. So response and parameters that are accepted are crucial and you cannot just change that whenever you want. You need to consult the front end. So what to do in this case? What are the scenarios? First scenario is that when you control the front end, so when that front end, Vue.js or mobile application, is written by yourself and you can change that code as well. So then you should do that. You should release, deploy almost at the same time, if possible simultaneously, the change to the front end that would expect different result and the back end that would give the different result. Then it's okay. It's easier to do if it's JavaScript front end in the browser, but it's much harder to do if you do the mobile app because it takes time for review a new version and update the new version. And let's be honest, no one actually updates the applications except when it's auto updating on your phone or something. So for example, I have a setting that the app should be auto updating all the apps when it's on Wi-Fi. So it happens from time to time, but I don't necessarily update the app. In that case, if you want to change the structure of the API, you need to release a new version of the API. So API should be versioned with like V1 or V2. And for that, you would go to, let's open the file of route service provider, actually route service provider. I will do that directly on GitHub. So route service provider, which comes by default from Laravel. So in this, you have routes API with just general API, but it could be done as, let me edit that file. So it would be something like you don't change anything that was previously, but then you create a separate routes API v2, for example, file like this with all the new routes with different responses and then the prefix would be api slash v2 and then you provide a separate documentation for that you enable that api for newer versions of the mobile application and then you release that kind of as a separate upgrade which doesn't happen often so full new version of the api should be kind of related not to changes like this one like responses but to completely new logic for example so it would be worth doing because it's quite a global change. Probably in this case, if you have a front-end, for example, mobile application, it is okay to leave that code as not ideal. So it doesn't return HTTP status codes, but it returns status with response. And that's okay if the front-end agrees to that contract and accepts that status. So the original question of the author of this code was how to clean up that code and not change the structure. So probably in my review of that API controller, 
I should not have changed that. And I kind of apologize for that. I was doing the better thing in my opinion, but now I'm publishing this correction video to make sure that you don't misunderstand that and you don't start changing your APIs just when you feel like that. What is your experience with changing the APIs? Have you encountered any issues like this one, for example, when you change something in the API and then it breaks your front end? What did you do in this case? Share your experience and let's discuss in the comments and see you guys in other videos.